What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Classroom of the Elite episodes five and six. Very, very excited and nervous at the same time to jump into these episodes. You guys made it very apparent in this. Don't trust anyone. And me being the open minded, kind of optimistic, trusting guy that I am already got betrayed too many times. So I am going to be more positive. I'm going to assume positive int intent. But I'm going to be very suspicious of everyone, goddammit, except Iona Koji. I'm still going to be even suspicious of Horik, literally anyone else. So with that being said, hopefully you guys are excited to hop into this just like I am. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you all subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know when I post these videos over here on the Dapper channel. Um, don't forget to check out that Patreon for the full uncut and early access to the other shows I'm watching. Uh, I say we hop right on into this. Classroom of the Elite, Episode 5. This one is called Hell is Other People. And I somewhat agree with that. Quicksilver, good clothing brand back in the day. So Ayano Koji, Kushida are going to be coming with us. See if we can get our camera fixed. Thanks, buddy. It's a power issue. <laughs> yes, I can agree. Makes sense. Honestly, from a social perspective, I get that a lot. Yeah, you, you want to give him my number? He's uh, cool. He can call me. I'll, you know, not like me. Like I was talking from a Yano Koji's perspective, you know, because obviously she is uncomfortable right now. Rightfully so. I knew this dude's a good man. I don't know if it's a main character thing, but it's very interesting how detailed the designs of the the eyes for our main characters are, but characters that aren't important have just normal anime black pupils, you know? I agree. Once you she becomes friends with people, like close enough to them, I'm, I'm sure she'll drop her barriers and stuff like that, you know? You can tell she's still very nervous. Right? Super introverts like this too are like the nicest, most fun people once you actually get to know them. About what? That's what I was thinking. Understandable. Mm. It's very rare that she looks up into people's eyes. And so when she sees ones that aren't scary, you know, it's noticeable. It could be intuition. It could be something like, yeah, I like that. It's just something in your eyes. You just, it just feel different, you know? Just think about yourself. Just do what's right for you. Live integral, live honorably in your own life, you know? Firmly agree. Yeah, you can tell that changed your perspective on some things. I really like Ayano Koji so far. I feel like he's going to be one of my top main characters. I might have to read the light novels you guys have been gassing up. Are you trying to tell me that's Sakura? What, does she have a low-key OnlyFans? We just don't know about or what? Those are fake glasses? Oh, there's no prescription. They're just plain glass. I'm blind. These are real guys. <laughs> if you guys are really trying to tell me that Sakura is faking it too, and I just had this whole conversation about how much I liked her and how much she's like, I swear to God, I swear to God. I, I, even though I just set out. Out... 
I mean, he's hiding like 99% of the things that go on in his mind, but that's just because he's a legend. We did indeed. Not that I wanted to. I know. You're, you're literally mean mugging us. What's going on? Okay. She confirmed she has resting B word face. That's a very smart and articulate way of saying you're jealous. This is so formal. These goddamn liars. Hachibana. I love that name ever since Tokyo Revengers. Yep. I agree. Oh, I would love to just be in the mind of a Yano Koji as he lives his day. He could do whatever. Go to the grocery store. I just want to know this man's thoughts. Horikita's not stepping up, but I get it, you know. What is he, tickling her? Oh my god. I know so many girls that would scream at the <laughs> because of that. Okay. She's like, okay, time to actually realize what we're doing here. Good question. Why did he call you out there? Good question. What were you doing there? Especially with a known fighter and strong guy, it really doesn't add up. Mm, it's a fair rebuttal. Right? He wouldn't just pulverize you. Like, he wouldn't just go out of his way to beat your ass if you're not, you know. And she's waiting right outside. Now they're going to question her. Oh, we're sure, Mr. Mr. Teacher Classy. Yeah, good point. Also, good rebuttal. The camera. Has it been a couple of days since? Okay, so she's admitting that... Which is not too crazy. You know, girls have these secret sides of them. Yeah, you can't get more proof than that. Yeah, if anyone doesn't believe you, they're crazy. So I'm starting to rescind my suspicion on Sakura a little bit. Now that she was open with what kind of pictures she takes and stuff like that, you know. No, you may not. They're okay with that to get rid of Sudo? Why? What is what harm does Sudo bring? What threat is he? Maybe the only thing I can think of, I'm just pausing it just purely for myself, is is that there is some sort of class wide mandate or, or punishment if someone is to be expelled that you can't move up in classes. Did are, are we confirmed that Ryuen who told these kids to do that is he in c with them or is he in a or b i need to know that Okay. That's a valid way of saying it. 
like he does need to rechange his shit. he is kind of an asshole but in this particular case nah y'all's is bullshitting y'all's is bullshitting yeah two week suspension is not happening we're taking this to trial either we're free or innocent or we're guilty okay so what are we playing chicken now we got to make the other team crack either admit their wrongs or find proof on them you can't prove it it's nothing but a lie i mean he's wrong but he's not wrong you know it sucks no picks no proof as the kids would say these days see now what now i feel like there's a bias against us due to it being horikita's brother and him already not liking us i don't know this is this is so this is such an uphill battle shouts out ayana koji all right on to episode six this one was called there are two kinds of lies one concerns an accomplished fact the other concerns a future duty very curious about about the the details and and those lies in that regard i'm so lonely without your updates she's so she just likes the online attention These are some creepy ass messages. Sakura? We got some letters. Oh. Her P.O. box. I wish my P.O. box looked like that, but not with those letters. Oh, photo someone was so oh, she has a stalker stalker. Damn. Mm. We're in the special annex, right? Whereas the other buildings have cameras. What's your crazy thought? That was a great song that's playing. So, I'm sure I might get a little clarification later in this episode. I'm just kind of want to say my thoughts on it real quick. Is so in a question. Is it similar to, is it, what was her name, Futaba from Bunny Girl Senpai? I, don't, I rarely even remember that. It's been so long since I've seen Bunny Girl Senpai. But is the mask that Sakura was just talking about, is that on her online persona? She's really the shy, introverted, introverted girl who is scared to look people in the eyes. But because of the whole anonymity of online and you being able to be yourself and not be scared of other people when you're behind the camera... Is that why she has that persona and she gets, you know, attention, she gets likes, she gets the things she would want in person, but be behind in like a safe bubble because she's online. But now it's starting to cross that threshold because she has a stalker and it's like really getting weird. But is that is that the mask that she's putting on that online persona? The only reason I'm, I asked that I'm a little confused is because she has the fake glasses as well, which that could just be purely for disguise to hide her identity. She changes her hair a little bit, you know, but. I'm curious. Yeah, she's tense for a completely other, very valid reason, and feel free to tell Yano Koji about that. Please. Which is rare in the school. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Thank you, Sakura. Please talk to him about it. Like, this man is just a generally helpful man, Kushida, already. I sent the email. Damn it. I'm not even sure Sakura can make it till later, but I hope she can. And I hope we do get to help. The stalking is a very serious, scary-ass issue. So, Kushida is asking them to the annex where we know there's no cameras. And it's Ayano Koji waiting instead of her. 
Okay, what do you mean by that, Horikita? Oh, they put a fake camera there to make it seem like, oh, the whole thing's been recorded. Yeah, we actually have it all recorded, buddy. So you sure you want to say that? Which, in every other building, cameras are very common. I think this is the only one without them, so... Your average person would not know that. Yeah, just say... Say you... Okay, the only one who'd be upset with that would be Ryuin, who I'd be more afraid of. But then being expelled? You know, like... I don't know. Like, coming from their own personal selfish reasons, they would probably want to do this. Getting expelled, you know. Who's going to make a call to? Fine. We'll take it back. I promise I'll pay you back so they went to, like, an electronics store. So she used Ichinose's points. Oh, please tell it. Please. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The fucking Best Buy, dude. I really don't want anything bad to happen to this girl. If this was like a different show, like The Boys, or a little bit more like, I could want a knife to the back of his head, you know, something like, this dude, I... Oh, Yano Koji, please. Oh my god, yeah, your life is over, buddy. GG's to you. And this time we got real cameras, or are they the fake cameras as well? No, these are real cameras. Yep, your life is over, buddy. <laughs> GG's to you. Shouts out Ichinose coming as well. With the police. Get this man out of here. Thank the Lord. Like, there's some social commentary there about parasocial relationships. It can get a little deeper than that, you know? Good. Speak your shit. Talk your truth, girly. See, and then they turn violent, and then they turn... Uh, ugh. See? And now... That's the thing in this situation. This guy won't really get locked up for long if he ever does get out. He's killing Sakura, you know? So we're seeing the real her. No more masks. From what I see, Yana Koji looks at everyone the same way. But you have better intuition when it comes to eyes than I do, girly. Miss Chabashira? Mm -hmm. Damn, the way even Chabashira, who's always quiet, is even saying that, like, that really hypes me up. I, this dude, just so monotone all the time. And he's gonna give credit, like always, he'll never take credit for himself. That's a good question, I never even thought about that. That is something I have thought about. Now, in what way? It's definitely a subjective ideology, a defective part of you. You know, I'm curious in what, what they mean by that. Hi. 
He's going to decline it, even though this is huge to ask a Class D, especially year one. I love this shot of them on opposite sides, divided by the windows in the rain. Oh, I'm sure he won't. You, this is what I was worried about somewhat. Albert is the big black guy's name. <laughs> Mm. Now we officially are going to have Ryuan against Orikita and Ayano Koji. Anytime I see a cane, I think a limp girl who I think a big bald guy who I'm hyped to see them. We know they're a class 1A. Sakayanagi? He's a seer. Okay, so that makes more sense. Sakayanagi is an A. I'm getting huge Game of Thrones vibes from them right now. <laughs> I right, will see who's standing on top. When you play the Game of Thrones, you either win or you die. What is this, like, Stranger Things? What kind of fucking Papa 11 childhood did Ayano Koji grow up in? About to miss our light. Fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. God, I, I never heard him get serious. I don't even think that was serious, but that's the most serious I've ever heard him get. Well... For the conclusion of the pseudo incident arc is the name I just came up with on the spot. That was very good. I love the way that Ayano Koji manipulated everything, but still didn't at the same time like he did. But he's I don't I need to know what's going on in my man's head. Like I think one of the most observant people of him is Chabashira, and she's keeping quiet except to Horikita who only saying that to Horikita because she knows Horikita's desire to move to class A, which no class has ever moved out of D, right? That was the thing. And everyone in class D is defective, and the most defective of them all is a Yano Koji. And then that little tease of his backstory, I'm so curious. Like, I, I, he, I know he said don't pry into his life, and I don't want to, but damn. But damn. If you guys want to let me know the details about Sakura, so... I guess she was just wearing a mask in general. So is the online persona, that's the real her? So wearing the glasses, the hiding, not being able to look in people's eyes, that was all fake? Cause it, it, maybe it's not, cause she maybe it's just Ayano Koji, but she seemed pretty confident at the end there, which, you know, an incident like that can make you confident. I'm just curious. I want to know the details about her. Cause it seems like she's going to be a part, part of the squad now and I'm down. I really enjoy her character. Um, I really enjoy characters like her. I'm so glad that Stalker got the fuck out of there. That was OD. But uh, shouts out Ichinose helping as well. Hmm. Ryuen and then Sakayanagi at the end. Talking about he's going to destroy D, then B, then eventually A. Very intrigued. Very hyped. Ooh, I'm excited. If you guys are as well, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut of this show. And then also early access to the other shows. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.